Hello, welcome to episode 2 of the tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to be creating a mouse manager to handle our, all our mouse inputs, our mouse X, and our mouse Y, and all that stuff. So, without further ado, I think we can jump right into it. No time wasted. So, first we're going to have to create a new class, obviously call it mouse manager. Um, so, make sure you put it in the proper package. And... Oh yeah, one last thing I want to mention. Um, I you may have realized I started from this. I didn't start from any from no. Um, I'm gonna be suggesting that you have a game uh, that you put this in. If not, don't worry. Um, you can download the source code for this down in the description. Um, but anyways, this is super simple. It's just drawing this very simple window. So, anyways, that does that. So the mouse manager is going to need a few variables. It's going to need a public int mouse x and a public int mouse y. Um, and then one final thing is it's going to need a public boolean mouse pressed. So there we go. Um, now we're going to have it implement a few things. It's going to implement. So e implements a uh, mouse listener oh stupid answer mouse listener oh my goodness um and um mouse motion listener that's all we're going to need make sure you import them both and then add the unimplemented methods we are go not going to need mouse, we're going to need mouse dragged, mouse moved, not mouse clicked, not mouse entered, not mouse exited, and we're going to need mouse pressed, and mouse released. So, let's start at the beginning. So if the mouse is dragged, we have to do this dot mouse x, so we have to set the mouse x equal to e dot get x. So that pretty much gets th where the mouse is, and it sets that to our variable. So we're going to have to do that same thing to the y. Mouse y equals e dot get y. And then that does that. So now we want to select this, copy it down into the mouse moved. Now we're going to want to create one more variable here. We're going to cr want to create a public rect rectangle. Um, Rect. So this is pretty much going to be <laughs> rect. This is pretty much going to be the collision rectangle to check to see if we have any collision. So what we're going to want to do with this is every time we w we want to move, we do rect dot set uh, bounds, and we're going to set it to uh, the mouse x, the mouse y, and one and one. So that does that, and before we forget, we want to make sure it's not null. So we want to create a constructor, and in this constructor, we want to set rect, the rectangle, equal to a new rectangle. We're, we don't have to fill in anything here, because the defaults are zero, which is okay. So, that does that. We want to make sure we copy the same thing down to the mouse move. Now, every time the mouse is pressed, we want to set pressed our variable equal to true. Um, did we create that? Oh, it's called mouse pressed. You can simply change that to pressed. You don't have to, but that just makes it a lot easier and yes. So let's move this down and we can do pressed equal to tr false when the mouse is released. So that does it in the mouse manager class. Um, so we can close that down, and then in the main class, what we want to do is we want to create a public static mouse manager mm, and then we want to initialize the mouse manager in your init or in your constructor. Doesn't matter where you put um, mm equals a new mouse manager. Um, what does that? Now, we need to make sure that the actual game registers it. So, go to where you have your J panel. Um, you cannot put it on your frame because that will have it offset. I'll show you in a minute. Um, 
So this extends the J panel, so it's going to be super simple to do. All we have to do is um, add um, mouse listener, and we can just put MM into that. And then we want to also add a mouse motion listener. And this is going to also take MM. So that actually does it. So, if we want to test it out, we can go back into our mouse manager, and when the mouse is moved, if we want to type in sys, and then control space, and then in here, type mouse moved. And then, we also want to register the presses. When the mouse is pressed, we want to hit, so sys out again, we want to type in mouse pressed. So, now, if we were to run our game and make sure you save everything now it will launch it so now if we move it down here uh, let me quickly get it all right we can see when we move our mouse in it it does that and we click when we click our mouse has the mouse pressed so that is super simple and it's gonna work like a charm so that does it for this episode Thank you for watching, and in the next episode, we are going to create our button, which is going to be quite fun. Um, as always, thank you for watching, and see you next time.